Sydney. So it looks like we're getting a new asymmetrical horror game dropping June 4th. What game is that? Well, that is Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Hello everyone, welcome to Nightmare Culture. In today's video, we're going to discuss the new trailer that was dropped yesterday. And of course, the pre-orders that went up today for Killer Clowns from Outer Space, the game. If you don't know much about this game, I actually have a video that I already did, kind of basically breaking down what this game's about, the original film that came out in 1988, and why it's such a cult classic. So I'm not going to jump too much into that. Just know it's a very funny, very over-the-top B movie that a lot of people just ended up loving over the years. Right away, watching the in-game alpha footage, it looks a little outdated as far as graphics. Like, the characters don't look very detailed. I mean, it looks like a game that probably could have came out in PS3. Uh, but... You know what? Who cares? It's also alpha. I'm sure they'll have some updates and things to probably fix graphics, just like Elphonic did with Friday 13th. And yes, if you don't know, this game is done by Elphonic. And in fact, Randy Greenback, who worked on Friday 13th as the executive producer, is also helping develop this game. So it's, that's why right away it gives me vibes of Friday 13th, the game, which got me excited immediately. It looks like you can do a lot of things like fight back with baseball bats, fire extinguishers, axes, guns. You can use vehicles. It's endless on how you can basically fight back as well as I'm sure kill your victims. It is a game that's going to put three clowns against seven people from Crescent Grove or citizens. That's awesome right there. That's immediately a great asymmetrical horror game. I think it's just going to be fun. And that's really kind of all we need with these games. I feel like we have been lost and caught up in this balancing issues and updates and technical difficulties and just, oh, the game's too easy to escape. It's too hard to be a killer. Can we just get back to where it was just fun? Like it was in Friday 13th, where no one really cared. I mean, yeah, there were some messed up issues, but we all had fun with it. And we all laughed and we got on a line with friends and that's what we need again. Do I think Killer Clowns Matter Space is going to top Dead by Daylight? No, no way. But I think it's going to be the most fun asymmetrical horror game we have available right now. And that is saying a lot. And I think that's what we need is just have that fun factor back. So are you excited for this game? Is this something you're pre-ordering today? And also let me know in the comments, is this a game that you think will top as far as a fun factor, the games that we have like Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Dead by Daylight, and do you think it will last very long? I think the novelty may wear off kind of quickly, but I'm still excited for the game nonetheless. Also, let me know in the comments below, what killer clown are you going to choose when you first get this game? If you enjoyed this video, do me a huge favor. Give it a thumbs up and share and subscribe to see more content like this. Thank you for watching and until next time.